welcome back to Tailgate Talks. I'm Hannah Greenwell, Beef Systems Extension Educator with UNL Extension. With some of the recent weather that we've been having, it's pretty obvious that we're experiencing a little bit of heat stress across our operations. Normally when we talk about heat stress, it's in those confined feeding situations or when we've got cattle in a little bit tighter grouping and they're typically on bare ground. But I think that it's a good opportunity to also talk about some of the heat stress that we're probably experiencing in our fall calving cows and their calves, as well as some of those later summer calving herds. Um, whenever we think about what heat stress and the effects that it can have in our herds, uh, that cow is, um, she's trying her best to dissipate some of that heat. She is panting. She is looking to burn some calories to be able to cool herself, but she's also on a declining forage quality diet. And so what that means is that we're losing a little bit of digestibility. So she's having to consume a larger amount. And so what that can basically precipitates into is she's consuming more feed and therefore to having to digest and create more heat of fermentation. And so she is increasing her body heat in that way, not only from external factors at the same time. And so with all that combined, she's probably going to alter some of the blood flow in her body to be able to cool herself. And what that does in a late gestation cow is it can potentially uh, decrease blood flow to the uterus. And what that'll do is that'll trigger that calf to think that it is time to initiate parturition. And so therefore we are looking at the opportunity for premature births in some of our fall calving cows during heat stress events. So along with checking those cows probably a little bit more frequently during those heat events, it's also a good opportunity to talk about how to mitigate heat stress. Um, and while some of these things can seem pretty basic, it's great to be able to plan ahead and think about that so you don't get yourself in a bind during some of those peak temperatures. And so what that can look like, uh, obviously water. Water is key in being able to have access to good, clean water sources, but this isn't just for the cows. It's making sure that your calves also have that opportunity to have access to that water. We, we saw an article earlier this year from uh, Dr. Wilkie about how it's, we are, seeing how important water is to early on rumen development. And so really those calves are getting access to that water sooner than we probably think they are. And so making sure that there's either a water situation separate for the calves that they're able to gain access to, or if you're able to just make sure your ta tanks are banked at this time and have those calves be able to get to that tank just as easily. Uh, secondly, we probably want to think about if we can provide those cattle with shade opportunities. Our cows are pretty good at uh, managing their body temperature, but whenever they really get to that point where we're not seeing that night cooling, that temperature isn't dropping below 70 degrees at night, and so they're not able to recover for the next heat event the next day, um, there's an opportunity to be able to have some shade and help those cows out a little bit there. Additionally, thinking again, separate from the cows, but also thinking about the calves, is there a way that we can make a creep shade situation so that we are letting those calves have their own space, um, just like we think about during the winter where we get those calves away from the cows where they can get into an own space that they're not pushed away from. But so, so for lack of a better term, a creep shade for those calves. Um, and then lastly, thinking about how we balance our pasture settings. Are we able to get them to a lower or a lower place where we can get some higher forage quality from time to time? But we're also providing a little bit of hilltop so that those cows can get those calves to the hilltops and put them in a breeze um, and be able to have that advantage whenever we're presented with that opportunity. Again, while these things seem pretty basic, it, it's easy to get in the, the hustle and bustle of every day. And so being sure that you're planning ahead, you've got those opportunities for those cattle to take advantage of. Um, and then that way we're, we're seeing not only uh, a, a true gestation period on those cows and they're not being affected by that heat stress, but at the same time, we're letting those calves have the opportunity to stay as healthy as possible. And we're not fighting any early onset sickness in those fall calving cows or late onset sickness in those, those summer calving cows, which are just gonna cause a precipitation of events further down the road. But again, thanks for watching Tailgate Talks and we'll see you next time.